When it comes to DC movies, we have questions. Just what is going on with the Joker? What's going to happen with Harley Quinn? And where is the DCEU actually headed? Well, nobody's really got any answers to all that, but it's not for lack of trying. Here are a few DC movie theories that, if true, would change everything. Over the last few decades, the Joker has become one of the world's best-known baddies, so it's no wonder that DC is trying their best to get the most out of one of their most iconic characters, namely by producing not one, but two Joker-centric films. Of course, first there's Joker, the award-winning R-rated take on a failed comedian becoming the grease-painted face of an anarchist movement, starring the frankly astonishing Joaquin Phoenix. But then you've got the controversial Joker from Suicide Squad, a slightly more modern, tatted-up version performed by a husky-voiced Jared Leto. But are these two Jokers in the same cinematic universe? And if so, how? Which is the real Joker? Well, one popular theory claims that they're both Jokers, with the Joker being more of an idea than a single person. Specifically, some fans believe that Leto's Joker was at one time Jason Todd, one of Batman's own Robins, before he was brutalized and brainwashed by a previous clown prince of crime. That would handily explain the memorialized armor in the Batcave reading, Ha ha ha, jokes on you, Batman. And I thought my jokes were bad. Of course, it's also possible Joker truly is a standalone film, with no connection whatsoever to the wider DCEU. But that's less fun, isn't it? DC has gotten something of a bad rap for making their movies just a little too gritty and dark, but Joker has fully embraced the much lampooned edginess of DC, creating a film that goes where no superhero film has dared to go before. This formula appears to be successful, too. Joaquin Phoenix's performance has been praised left and right, and Joker has won all sorts of accolades and awards. In fact, rumor has it that Joker is just the first of DC's Black, a new label for DC movies that exist outside the DCEU as we know it, and which are somehow even darker than the already grim and gritty films of the DCEU. Back in 2017, writer Mark Miller tweeted to director Jordan Vogt Roberts that DC was pitching directors for an adaptation of the comic storyline Superman Red Sun. This alternate timeline imagines what would happen if Superman had landed in the Soviet Union rather than Kansas. In case you're wondering, Superman fighting for Stalin rather than the American way turns the Cold War into a superhuman army race rather than a nuclear one. Such a dark and politically charged plot seems tailor-made for a DC dark label, and with Joker's recent successes, there's a chance we could see it hit screen soon. According to the teaser trailer for the action-packed, gritty girl power film Birds of Prey, Harley Quinn is kind of over clowns, and the film's subtitle, and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn, would seem to say it all. Harley is done with being Joker's minion, so she finally cuts ties with the clown prince of crime. She's doing her own thing with her own friends, namely a bunch of super-powered women who want to protect a young girl from Black Mask, a vicious crime lord. We're bad guys. It's what we do. The first of a proposed trilogy, these films will bring to life some of Gotham's favorite femme fatales, one of whom could well be Poison Ivy. The potential introduction of Poison Ivy into the DCEU has comic fans excited about what it could mean for Harley. After her big breakup with Mr. J in the comics, Harley finds love and support in a new relationship with Ivy. Margot Robbie herself has even said that their intimate relationship was one of her favorite parts of the comics, and something she hopes to explore in future films. Before fans dive into Atlantis once more for the DCEU's second Aquaman film, they'll be taking a detour a little further down, deep into the trench. One of the scariest scenes in a DC film so far, James Wan's 2018 blockbuster features a moment where Arthur and Mira barely make it out of the terrifying depths of the trench. Now Warner Brothers are giving the DC Universe its first true horror movie, set to take place among the many sharp-toothed creatures of the trench. With a trench spin-off in the works, fans are wondering if Juan will do for Aquaman what he did for the Conjuring universe. What started with just a single film in that world quickly blossomed into many, including Annabelle, The Nun, and The Curse of La Llorona, to name a few. Similarly, some are hoping for the gradual development of a kind of Aquaman cinematic universe, with fans theorizing that the trench will be the first of many films that will explore the undersea world. Most of the Justice League members have gotten their own movies by now, so when will it finally be Barry Allen's turn? Well, it's been long confirmed that there is a solo Flash flick in the works, but due to creative differences in Ezra Miller's packed schedule, it's gotten caught up in development hell. But maybe that's for the best, since according to Miller, the Flash film will see the DCEU torn asunder. But maybe the DCEU getting torn a new one might be a good thing. The Flash will apparently be centered around the Flashpoint storyline, in which Barry creates an alternate timeline by going back in the past in order 
order to save his mother. But this new reality is kinda messed up, to say the least. Fans have suggested that the topsy-turvy universe created by Flashpoint would be a logical explanation for the establishment of an Elseworlds or DC Dark series of films. Others, meanwhile, have said that this adaptation of Flashpoint will serve as a hard reboot for the whole of the DCEU, giving Warner Brothers the chance to start anew. This would easily explain the existence of the upcoming new Robert Pattinson Batman, as well as a new Superman, should Henry Cavill decide to hang up the cape for good. One thing is for sure, while other cinematic universes have entered the endgame, things are just getting started for DC. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.